Okay, Eddie DeVos, nice to have you here. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, um, your work is uh, very impressive, very intensive. Thank you. Um, how did you find your technique? No, I found my technique by, uh, at a certain point, in the beginning I was a more classical painter. Okay. And I wanted to involve computers, digital media. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, that's how it started. And then I made some uh, distortions of the images, uh, like uh, the rasters, uh, it's, it's, it's line structures and, 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 and dots and so on. And I started to use it in paintings. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the first series uh, in which I apply this technique in drawings. And I'm very pleased with them, uh, certainly. And uh, in the drawings, which uh, I do uh, another step, for example, uh, you can see it in some of the images. Eh? I distort uh, on a second level the image by uh, evoking broken glass and so on. That's important to me, so that uh, the image plays on, on different levels. That's what I try to do now. Okay. And uh, how do you find uh, your, your pictures? Are you uh, drawing by, by photos or, yeah. or by uh, pictures from media? Or? You know, I, I find my, my, my pictures in the media mm -hmm. uh, via internet. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm always looking for, for, for images uh, which uh, in, 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 in a, by their meaning have, have represent something for me, uh, which, uh, which I connect to. And then uh, uh, the ultimate decision in, in using the image or not using it is made when I transfer it into the uh, raster structure. And that has to uh, uh, has a visual effect for me, which is worth to, to apply to a painting or to a, to a drawing. So it, also there, there are these two uh, elements of uh, the context and the, the, let's say the, the meaning of the image, uh, political or, or otherwise, and then uh, the visuality by applying the rasters and so on. That's, uh, that's how I work nowadays. So it's very impressive when you stand uh, yeah. close to yeah. the picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's of course very important, yes. Yeah. If you go with your nose upon the picture, <laughs> you see nothing. Eh? It's, it's completely abstract. So you have to withdraw yourself, and uh, from a distance, the image uh, constructs itself in a sense. Mm. So th that that is very important to me. Yeah, that it is not obvious at first sight. So how uh, can we imagine the process of? Uh of drawing, are you uh, close to the paper and uh, just start with tiny uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm uh, certainly I'm close to the paper, but uh, it, I make the drawings uh, or the paintings by projection, of course. Okay. Otherwise, I would go, I would go crazy. Eh? It, it, <laughs> you can't do it eh? yeah. on out of your head, you know. You know, I, I make the image on the computer, I print it out. And then via uh, an episcope, I uh, project it on the paper or on the canvas, and uh, in the dark, I work on it. <laughs> okay. So, um, pencil is a very interesting uh, yeah. kind of yeah. uh, material yeah. you're using. Yeah. So, yes. Uh, yes. what moved you to, uh, to use it? Yeah, it was for me a, a transition from painting to, to drawing, because I never made drawings before. Okay. I never did it. So, but at a certain point, uh, I thought it's it's yeah, you can you, uh, you can make series after series after series with, with with the paintings and I was looking for something else and first I, I tried to to change the paintings themselves but at a certain point I decided uh, let's let's use another medium so so I went to drawings and that immediately felt felt quite good for me mm. and that's a, that's the first series I made which is now here on display. Yeah, it's very great. <laughs> yeah thank you thank you. So. Um, you're, um, you're treating uh, very political themes. Yeah, in this series, yes. Uh, topics. yes. And, uh, yeah. Do you have a, um, a context to, to the contemporary political um, yeah. actions or...? Yeah, yeah, no, for me it was, it was important at this stage to, to, to make some political work because mm -hmm. I think the world is in a messy stadium, you know? It, it's a... Uh, uh, 
perhaps not everything is lost, <laughs> but I feel that the world is in a terrible shape. So I think uh, that without making any political statements, I, I don't see them as political statements, but anyway, politics is involved in the images, which play also on, on other levels. But it was important for me not to take uh, some neutral images anymore and really go for some shocking things like uh, poverty, violence, uh, whatever, uh, the bad side of life or the bad side of, 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 of reality. Mm. Because I think it's, uh, it's high time we, we do something about it. Uh, that's, you know. So we can see your pictures as a general reflection of yeah. the political uh, system in general? Or? Yeah, uh, look, there, there are paintings and they, they are drawings, mm -hmm. so it's, uh, they are not analytical things. Eh? It's mm -hmm. not like a text or, or whatever. You can uh, analyze uh, politics and capitalism and so on. It has to do with these things, especially with capitalism and liberal democracy and so on, uh, for me. This, it, it, for me, it's a critic on these things. But in, in a rather uh, yeah, aesthetical way, it's, it's not... Uh, these are not texts, there are no, no, no direct statements. But these thoughts play, 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 play a role for me in choosing the subjects and in choosing, uh, for example, the broken glass imitations. Mm -hmm. It plays a role. It's, it's, for me, it, they are critical towards the system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, certainly, certainly. So um, distance plays a big role there yeah, by looking yeah, at your yeah, pictures or yeah. looking at your pictures. Yes. Um, would you uh, see the political situation now uh, like a uh, general situation which is uh, um, a constant um, yeah, the condition through the whole history? Would you compare it to that? Or because there no. is a big distance and time has to pass to, to, to reflect about uh, the for me, they, they are they are really really real pictures about capitalism, mm. about liberal democracy and the globalization of the world. Mm. And uh, for me, these things are are, are, are quite important. Uh, and I think Western Western uh, thinking and Western values are really on a sort of crusade to uh, to to implement themselves everywhere. For example, now with the evolution in Egypt and so. Uh, for me, Egypt is, for example, not about freedom and so on, but it's about globalization, it's about uh, new markets, it's about uh, uh, introducing uh, uh, consumism, uh, uh, consummation in, in, into the Arabic world. Yeah? We, we all have to become consumers, that's what I want to say. Now, uh, I'm very radical in, 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 these, in these things. So, uh, but then again, it's not in a, in a it's, it's rather in a formal way. Eh? It's not in a, it, 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 the, pa the, the paintings and the, the, uh, uh, the drawings are not analytical works. Eh? It, it, it is, uh, it is also about aesthetics, uh, aesthetics and, and about visuality and so on. Eh? Of mm -hmm. course, yes. But for me, the direct context is, a, a, let's say, the, the Western model. Uh, of of uh, civilization, which is really expanding itself all over the planet, mm. and I think that's a catastrophe. <laughs> it's really yeah. that's Thank about you it. Very much. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>